Scotland. Uh, you were in the papers at the weekend, weren't you, talking a lot about Scotland. You made some comparisons between the SNP and Nazis. Let me just uh, remind of you who may not have had a chance to uh, see the article, some of the quotes. Uh, what are the points of comparison? You say, well, we have a political movement that has a single historic explanation for why your country is facing such terrible oppression. It's either Versailles or the Treaty of Union. You have a particular group of people who are responsible for this. It is either the English or the Jews going on to say you have a symbol, the twisted cross, the saltire or the swastika. You have a passionate belief in economic self-sufficiency known by the Nazis as autarky and the Scots as oil. And you also have the propensity of your elderly and middle-aged male supporters to expose their knees. Um, it's created a great deal of offence to many people in Scotland. Are you sorry for the offence it's caused? No, of course not. Um, we have this awful, idiotic PC politics. What we've got to recognise, I said nothing about Scotland. I said a great deal about the SNP. The SNP is a virulently nationalist party of a type that we have not had in Britain. It models itself on the continental extreme nationalist movements of the 1930s. That's when it's founded. It's time we call things by their proper names. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm not saying they're about to set up concentration camps. I'm not going to say that we're going to see a Kristallnacht of English businesses in Edinburgh. Of course we're not. But the resemblances are striking and are worrying. Now, we've spent years fussing in Britain about completely minor fringe things like the BNP and whatever. They are nothing compared with uh, the Scottish Nationalist Party, which has seized control of a whole country and is pushing this kind of radical agenda. They talk about civic nationalism. The word civic is merely a fig leaf or perhaps bearing in mind that it's Scotland a jockstrap. You say they seize control, 50% of the population voted for them. Yes, of course. But sorry, lots of people have voted for very unpleasant leaders. I shan't mention the word Hitler. I mean, the f sorry, democracy doesn't always get it right. You, you, but comparing the, the saltire to the swastika, that's not the SNP symbol of saltire, it's, it's the symbol of Scotland, it's, it's the national symbol. Uh, sorry? The, 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 the saltire, of course it is. The saltire is the SNP symbol, is it? But the saltire, the saltire is of course an, a, a national symbol. It's the flag of St Andrew. I do know these things. But it has been appropriated by the SNP in a very particular way. Look, I mean, look at those scenes uh, in Glasgow at the time of the independence vote. And listen, you know, again, listen to the cybernats if you disbelieve me.